Mukalia Lodge. Not a lot of people know about it. Not a lot of people have been here, I guess, from the friends I spoke with. But definitely a visit. Definitely a place to come to wind down and just have a good time. A good evening, a good meal, and most importantly, a good experience. <laughs> Uh, this is the bar area side as well. Interesting paintings. Uh, this is our second time traveling with Mr. Banda uh, from Rich Bell. The first time was going to Lower Zambezi. This time is Upper Zambezi, about 45 minutes from Kariba. Banda sitting right there, relaxing after a long day's drive from Ketu. How are you, sir? I'm okay. I'm doing very well. This is the second time we are traveling together. I see you are winding down with... Uh, is that a Mossi or a castle? castle? That is a castle. And he's a great man to be with. A very responsible driver. And if any of you want to um, get in touch with him, you'll have his number there as well. And please come to Mukalla Lodge as well and enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful place. So it's good night time. And We've had a long and tiring day. That is a Zambezi that cannot be seen right now because it's pitch black. But if you can see that little light bulb there, right there, that is Zimbabwe. So I'm in Zambia, that light bulb is Zimbabwe. So you can pretty much throw a stone and it will reach Zimbabwe. Good morning. Uh, it's about 6.45 a.m. Quite cold. Uh, amazing smells and sounds here. And one of the best parts I like about this place is that um, it has a the geezer it's not electric, but powered by firewood. And it kind of gives an interesting feel to it. As you can see, very quiet, very serene. Each geyser is powered by firewood. And yeah, let's start today. Beautiful morning here. We're about to have breakfast and uh, very interesting weather right now. It's starting to rain. It's cold. And to top it off with rain, I'm the kind of person who likes the rain and who likes the cold as well. So for me, it's, uh, it's the best weather I could be. It's not really uh, pouring, but it's drizzling and really adds a good feel to your holiday if you're the kind of person like I am who enjoys the rain but uh, just to say this out there Zambia has a lot of these small uh, locations not too far from the city especially Lusaka that you could just take a small break uh, drive a couple hours and be in between nature and take a make a good holiday out of it and you know, be fresh and then go back to your work routine. So check it out. Zambia's got a lot to offer. It's just 
a matter of you going out there. And it's got a little bit for everything, for the young, the old, kids, um, hiking, trekking, hot springs, ATV rides. Mokalia's got it. Uh, it's got decent food and um, the price is okay as well. So check it out. So we're at the Zambia Zimbabwe border by Lake Kariba. Back there is Zimbabwe. That is Zimbabwe as well. This is Zambia, that is Lake Kariba. Crossing there is the Zambezi and that is uh, the dam, Kariba Dam. Uh, beautiful weather. It's been a really good weather the past three, four days. This was about a 45 minute one hour drive from Mukalia Lodge worth the drive here this dam provides majority of the electricity to Zambia and Zimbabwe and as you can see there's still a lot of work going on I guess to increase the production of uh, electricity so a beautiful place Mountainous. That is Jitsu and Vayu ahead. And that's my hello to them. And that in the background that you see coming, that van is where Mr. Banda and our parents are. We decided to walk it to see what kind of views we can get. That is the van in the background with Mr. Banda and our parents. And they will park just somewhere ahead where we hopefully get a better view of the Zambezi and the dam and Kariba. Nevertheless, worth a visit. There they go. So here we are. Hopefully a better view and a better view it is. I don't know what that is. It looks like a whirlpool. Don't know what it's for. Looks interesting. All right, so we finally walked it here. That is a full view of the dam. That is where they release the water from. And this is where it comes down to the Zambezi, or rather the Zambezi here. And it continues onwards. Beautiful Zambia, that's the uh, uh, mountainous range of this area. And just overall a beautiful place. A foggy afternoon, drizzling a bit. We got some big boys there. Um, don't really know what they're up to, but they're hanging out. That is that. Well, Welcome to Lake Kariba. Welcome to Siavonga. And welcome to Zambezi. Welcome to Zambia. We love. And welcome to Zimbabwe.